my speech uh, today, I had made it very, very, very clear. I mean, this was not just something which uh, was an impulsive uh, move, you know, the spur of, spur of the moment move. It was a well thought out move. Uh, I went over it, uh, spoke to, first of all, obviously my family, my supporters, right? because obviously a lot of uh, implications are there also in my joining the, the MPP. But uh, like I said earlier, I, I felt that uh, the MPP has something which is lacking in I, I don't mean to uh, discredit any, any party okay? because every party has a right to exist. But all I'm saying is this, that I'm here in the NPP because I feel that the leadership of the NPP has something to offer to us. Not only at the state level, but even at the grassroots uh, level. You know? And uh, for me, you know, the, there are a number of things also which uh, throughout, the, throughout the last few months which... Uh, cemented this uh, decision uh, for example you know the cuet i'm a i'm a teacher by profession okay and i could see the tremendous anxiety amongst uh, young people because of this uh, unknown thing called the cuet if this had been implemented in meghalaya i'm telling you this year there would have been absolute chaos in, in our state, among the education, in the education system and especially amongst our young people, especially those who are in the rural areas without any in, proper internet facilities and so on so forth. Okay. And I'm also happy that, uh, you know, the, this is a government that has also um, given young people a platform, for example, through the Prime Hub, okay, where young people have been have been able to launch their small businesses okay, and do something for a living without depending on government dole outs without depending on government jobs and one more thing which uh, which uh, uh, really propelled me to take this uh, very firm decision is uh, as someone who works in the political and social space uh, our state cannot progress without peace or if there's a sword hanging above us. So the decision of this government to provide first of all safe passage to our brothers who are across the border okay, and um, you know uh, initiating uh, talks which have never happened before. You know we've heard government after government making promises and all that but here is a government who walked the talk. And uh, you know, I I, I studied uh, in a school where the where the motto of the school was "factor non verba," deeds not words. And this is a government that showed action, that is propelled by action. So this is a harbinger of peace. I do hope and pray that whatever is happening today, uh, what is happening happening at this uh, at this point in time, okay, with all the peace talks and all that, will come to fruition that something positive will come out of it and I'm sure every citizen of the state whether a young person, a businessman, um, uh, ordinary citizen wants peace for our state. So these are some of the few things that uh, made me take this decision and but most of all like I said is because of the quality of leadership that I see in this party. Uh, why are you uh, joining a party uh, we know that you are vocal against corruption in Meghalaya House deal. Now a party is not free from corruption and a candidate also is not free from corruption. You are so going to support. I, so why do you want to support this party? I, I understand that. I understand that there is, uh, you know, there is a lot of, a lot of things uh, that, uh, that uh, yeah, I, I anticipated these questions. But you know, uh, Honorable Minister James Sangma, when he spoke about, uh, about I don't want to mention his name, but an MDC who was recently arrested. Okay. He said these words about a political rival, not about somebody from the party, from his party. He said that a person should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Now, 
if and any and I'm a new entrant to the party, and all I want to say is this: that where there is proof of corruption, it doesn't matter whether it is a my own party man or somebody in the party who's responsible. We will definitely, and at least I, I will definitely speak out against it. I'm, I'm very clear about that. You, but why?